This lecture is going to go through how to create a program using procedures in Raptor. First, let's go through the problem that we're going to solve today. This problem is an adaptation of a problem that we uh, saw in the uh, demos folder on arrays. And what this one is going to do is it's going to populate a two-dimensional array with uh, the names of the salespeople and then also the their figures or the sales. Now, for this problem, we're not going to use a two-dimensional array. Rather, we're going to use two single-dimensional uh, arrays, and uh, or in essence, two parallel arrays. So two single arrays pushed together using a common index. So we're going to ask the user for the name of the salesperson and then ask them for the, the figures. Um, so our inputs are going to be the name of the salespersons along with their figures and the outputs will basically be the same. So the 30,000 foot view is we're going to get the names of the people, get their figures, and then print them out. So as you can see in my pseudocode, I broke apart each one of these items listed in 30,000 foot view, and then expounded my pseudocode on each one of that. So we know that we're going to declare some local variables. We're going to need a counter and then a temporary holding variable to hold on to the value that our user gives us and then assign that into our array. So here you can see my loop. Um, now remember, index is start at zero to four, meaning that there's going to be five items in there. We'll prompt the user to enter the name of the salesperson. We'll grab it from the user, and then we'll put it into the array. So moving forward, we'll do the same with our sales figures. And then finally, we'll utilize our loop to um, print out to the screen. So what I would suggest, suggest that you do is make a copy of this or open this up so that you can follow along. I've printed it out so I have it here on the desk so that I can build the program from there. So first thing we do when we're doing this in Raptor is we got to put and assign um, two open arrays. So uh, to do that, we're going to, um, first I'm going to create sales. Now from last the last lecture that we did on arrays in Raptor, we have to create, when we create an array, an array in Raptor, we have to specify at least one item. So that's what I'm doing. And then my procedures will alter this and add items to that. So there's sales. And then this one here is, um, we'll call this person. We'll set it initially to one item. And we're just going to put the word nothing in here, just so that we can open it up. Okay. Now, following along with our pseudocode, our first thing that we're going to do is we need to load the salesperson um, uh, array. So, I'm going to right-click on main and add procedure. It's very important that you don't, don't click on add subchart. That's going to do an entirely different thing. What we want is add procedure. Now, what we get prompted for is the name. So we'll name this one um, get salesperson. And the parameter that we need to put in here is person. Now, as um, we discussed in the lecture, we have to determine whether this um, parameter coming into this procedure is input, meaning by val, or, or by value, or output, meaning by reference. In other words, are we just reading it or do we need to write to it? So I'm going to select output because we're going to load this um, array in this procedure. We're going to change the contents of it. We want those contents to be shared with other parts of the program. And from what I can see, this is the only one that we need in here. Now, from within here, we're going to declare some local variables. So we know we need um, two. We're going to need um, index or some type of a counter. And I'm going to send the index to 1. Remember in, in uh, Raptor, our index values start at 1, which is different from when we code. And I'm going to set a local variable called salesperson. And I'm going to set it to nothing. And then we'll fill it later. Now we need to employ a loop in order to um, ask the user multiple times for the names of the salesperson. I want my loop to go around 
five times. So I'm going to set my index greater than five. So remember, we're starting off at one. So once the index hits six, this loop will terminate. So next, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to ask the user for the name of the salesperson. Name. And I'm going to assign this to our variable salesperson. And then we're going to take what the user gave us and put it in the array. So I'm going to set person index to salesperson. And then we cannot forget to increment our counter. So index, it'll be equal to index plus one. All right, you've created your first procedure. So if I were to hit run at this point, basically a whole lot of nothing is gonna get done because we haven't called the procedure. So now we have to bring over the last symbol that we're gonna lose, use here in Raptor, call, and drag it over here, double click on it. And in here what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in the name of our procedure. And you can see down in here that Raptor is helping us and that it's, no, it's picking up that we've defined something already and it's, all, and it's telling us what parameters need to go in here. So get sales, or get sale person, and we need our array person in there. Now, a couple quick things. Let's just pause just a quick second. Um, Raptor is um, very a very simple program in that it uh, when it recognizes numbers, it doesn't tell if they're an integer or a float, um, and there's no difference between strings and characters. Um, naming is also rather um, rather simple. So in looking at the naming, when you're naming a procedure, make sure that you name it different from any of your variables. Procedures typically do something. So utilizing the word get print is not a bad thing. If I were to name my procedure here salesperson and then refer to it again as a variable, Raptor gets confused because it considers this an object as it does um, your, your variables as objects. So when you're naming these, just make sure that you give everything different names. So there's our call statement. And now we're gonna click on main again, add procedure. And this procedure we're gonna call get sales figures. And the array that we need in here is sales and you can see where I clicked on output because we want to read and write to it so that the changes get reflected in the rest of the program. All right, here we go with our local variables. We need index so our loop can count. Setting it to zero and then we've got we create a variable called sales figure and we're going to set that to zero we're going to put in our loop very similar to the other loop that we had we're going to say index is greater than five so when it hits six we're done oh made a mistake here gotta set index to one keep forgetting when we're in the raptor they start at one and we're going to have an input statement. Enter the sales figure. We need to take sales figure and assign it to our array. So sales index, look at the sales figure, 
And then we need to increment our index so that we can keep going around and around. Okay. So, like I said, we're not done yet. We created it, but we also need to call it. So let's go ahead and call it. Now our final procedure is where we print everything out. So I'm going to add a procedure. And I'm going to title um, this procedure exactly what it's doing. So it's printing out our, um, our salesperson. So print person sales. And this is where uh, this procedure here differs from the other two in that all we need are just the arrays as they are. We don't need to write to them. We just need to read them. So I'm going to type in person and then sales. And we're going to keep them as inputs right in here because we want to um, just read them. We don't need to write to them. Now we do have um, a couple local variables that we have to declare. Three in total. I bet you can guess one of them. Yep, index, because we need a loop to unload our arrays. We need sales figures, or sales figure. And we need sales person. We're going to set this to nothing. Now, remember I talked about naming. If you take a look here, I've got index sales figure, index sales person. Raptor is very similar to the other languages out there in that what is local is unique. So within here, we can reuse naming, um, but it's any time that we're out in Maine that we have to be careful with how we're naming things. So now um, I'm going to put in a loop, and this loop I want to terminate once it gets bigger than five. And then basically we're going to um, pull values out of our arrays. So the first one I'm going to do is uh, salesperson is equal to person index. Sales figure is equal to sales index. And then now an output statement that's going to output that. So we'll output salesperson. I'm just putting in a couple of blanks here so that we can have space in between the two different values. Okay, and then of course we can't forget to increment our index. To main, let's call it. All right. Now, what I hope you're noticing here is that main is getting very slimmed down because all of your action is going out in the procedures. Now, we're going to save it. Um, and then uh, you can go ahead and then you can run it on it out on your own. This concludes this lecture on how to create a procedure in Reactor.